Hi, Chef Clark here. Tonight we're going to be exploring the Italian grinder sandwich. And this one's going to be our meatball version, all right? It's going to be real good meatball version. And, uh, these are real delicious. I mean, they are wonderful. Goodness, goodness gracious, they're good. Now, other versions can include on these. You can make uh, steak grinders, and those are very good. You can make uh, Italian sausage grinders, ham and cheese grinders. And you can even use a Mexican version if you want to use Monterey Jack. And instead of the tomato sauce, you're going to be using enchilada sauce. So, I mean, it's whatever you want to make them on. It's way cool how you make these, and they're delicious. So, anyway, give these a try. The Italian grinder sandwich tonight. They're just wonderful. They don't take long to make. They're excellent, and I think they're something you'd really enjoy. Now, what we're doing now is we're using cheese and garlic croutons, as you see here, and we put them in a baggie for you. So, just stick those in a bowl like this to help contain it. So, and then just crush it. You know, you can roll it around like you're seeing there and just crush the garlic croutons down into a powdery consistency like you're seeing right there. I always take and make fifth pound burger. Now you put the garlic croutons in a bowl and in one egg. Squish them all together with your fingers to get the egg all mixed up in the meat and the croutons and all this and that, okay? And now we're going to take the spices and what I'm putting on here is first a little basil, a little bit of oregano, this is garlic salt. This is a uh, Dollar General's Clover Valley garlic salt, which I just love. I like it better than Lowry's now. It's a little bit more potent than Lowry's garlic salt, so just give it a try. See what you think. Concentrating the Parmesan cheese, Grandma Lala. She's the one who taught us how to do all this Italian cooking. She always put uh, Parmesan in her meatballs, so I continue with the Grandma Lala tradition. Now we're going to go over to the skillet, put in a little bit of spray in that, and you can just pop your meatballs in there and roll them around. And we're just getting it done as fast as possible. Then comes the realization that we really don't need meatball. Now we're going to do the smash burger way here in a minute. I'm going to smash them down so they cook faster. There you go. Now they're smashed flat. And kind of like a smash burger. You just flip them over a couple of times until they're nice and done. And then we're just going to take them off. All right, now what we've got here is a pot of uh, sugu, as Grandma Lala used to say, sugu, but we're, uh, you know, it's just spaghetti sauce. I already cooked the noodles ahead of time for your convenience, so they're sitting over there in some hot water. Now what you want to do is you want to take one of these bolillo buns here and cut the lid off. Of here, and what we're going to do right now is we're just going to hollow out this uh, bun here. Take all the breading out of it that you can. You don't want to poke the hole in the side with the fork or anything while you're doing this. So you got to be careful. Okay, there's a the hollow tube there for you. Now we're going to take our sugu, fill it up pretty much, and then just dump it all back out. Because you're going to start loading meat in there, like you're doing, or I'm doing, right? And grab some mozzarella cheese is what we're using here. Okay, what we're doing is just alternating between meat and cheese. Ooh, and then we're going to put the lid on it like this. Put it on our steel plate. We're going to take it over to our oven, which is set at 350 degrees. We're going to pop it in that oven just like this, and away we go. And then we're going to wait for about 12 minutes or so, and we're going to pull it right back out, just like we're going to do here. Pull it out, and it should be nice and crispy on the outside, and tender and gooey and cheesy and everything on the inside. So that's pretty much how the sandwich goes. Now we're going to finish the plate off here, so uh, we're going to add our side of spaghetti to it. And that's going to complete the meal for you. It's going to be real delicious. Yeah, it's going to be great. It's going to be just everything you want a sandwich to be. So here's our plate. We're going to put on the spaghetti real quick. And we're going to put on, it's just 
going to jump right over to having the sauce on it already. How about that magic, kids? Okay, put a little Parmesan on there, and you're done. That's the sandwich. That's the meal, folks. Try it. Enjoy it. Thanks for joining us on the KADJ Chef Clark TV Network. (laughs) 